Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. Today in this video, we are going to see what is accessibility testing and what are the tools used to perform accessibility testing. And along with that, we will see a demo of how actually the tool works. Okay. So before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. Let's begin. Accessibility testing is a technique to verify the content of website to make it usable to all users including those with disabilities. Suppose I am able to read, write or I can uh, listen to whatever is present on the screen everything I can do so I'm an abled person suppose uh, some of the people who are having color blindness or who, are, who is having deafness or they might not be uh, you know able to see anything like they are blind or if they have physical impairments all that in that case even if they want to use it okay we must provide the capability with our application by performing this accessibility testing um, and then it ensures the content accessibility without conventional interaction like using mouse touchpad reading content etc okay so there are multiple ways through which we can make the disabled people also use our application okay accessibility testing can be done by speech recognition and screen reader suppose if i want something i can read it out or i can tell that uh, this is what i'm looking for okay if you see like siri okay if you just want something you will talk it and then it will recognize your voice and then that is how it will respond you back that is one thing and another thing is screen reader uh, it will read all the text present on the screen so and uh, there are multiple other ways also through which we can perform the accessibility testing and make the people use our application by implementing accessibility testing in the testing process teams can ensure website content is easily accessible to all users without any roadblocks right so with this the content will also be reachable to lot of people and also our customers will increase in case of um, websites like e-commerce website or banking application even the uh, disabled people will also be able to use them and uh, across the world there are like 15 to 20 percent of disabled people so we will make we can make them even to use the application W3C guidelines for accessibility testing. Perceivable. An interface and information must be presentable for end user to perceive. For example, alt text to images. Suppose there is a screen reader which will read each and every text. In that case, if there is an image, so there must be an alternative text present in the HTML tag so that it will read out that particular alternative text that is one thing so that uh, the, the listener will get to know what that image is about okay operable navigation must be accessible and operable throughout the user interface example keyboard navigation and understandable the user interface content must be readable using meaningful statement instead of color coded instructions. So we must have to make it very much understandable with clear content okay, and robust. The user interface content must be robust to accessible by all users. Okay, For example, accessing a URL url on different viewports like desktop mobile and tablet suppose if i am implementing accessibility uh, to even disabled people then it must be accessible either via desktop or phone or tablets anything okay so what are the benefits of using this accessibility testing one is to known that uh, one is that known as we can increase the uh, customers to our website 
it improves the usability and user experience of our or your website or web application resulting in better performance a web based accessible application can help you to reach a wider audience since content is accessible and can be viewed and used in various ways like text alternatives written transcript ca captions and more i'll show you how uh, text alternatives look like or uh, image alternatives looks like okay uh, rich text format on accessible uh, website make it easier for search engines to find them encode audio into simple description for those with hearing impairments okay so with this we can make lot of people use our website or application so let's see uh, some of the tools which can be used to perform this accessibility testing one is wave which is most commonly used and it is a freeware uh, free open source okay which is an extension we will um, uh, see how wave works okay x and then taw tab okay let's see a live demo now so search for wave tool and then click on the wave accessibility evaluation tool first link uh, so as i mentioned this is a add on so this is we can uh, use it either via chrome firefox or edge browser these three extension are available so i am uh, going to use it in chrome so i'll click on wave chrome so here if you come there is an extension chrome extension which is available if you click on that it will uh, take you to this screen where you can click on add to chrome so this will add uh, click on add extension so you can see that this uh, wave tool extension got added it is just checking let's wait yeah now if you see this has been added for easier navigation let's click on this pin icon okay so now i have also opened to test this uh, accessibility testing i have also opened a flipkart application here so if you see let's see if they have implemented uh, uh, you know accessibility testing or not so if i click on this extension and uh, or, or if i just click on this wave icon so you can see there are seven errors which are present on this so the green ones are good ones and there are seven errors okay if i click on this it will say that missing alternative text if i if you remember that i mentioned about an alternative text let's see in code how it works see here if you see they have just mentioned the src which is the source location how does it look is uh, let us see some other example if i click on this linked image with alternative text if i click on this let's click on code yeah and uh, it, it says that there is an alternative text which says it is an electronics since this is an image kind of format what it does is it will read out it as electronics so here it is not here there is no alternative text if if it wants to read this particular uh, image there is no alternative text present which is a bad practice so if you if you just want to get brief idea of what it is you can click on this reference okay which i just clicked if you see there is reference and code just click on the reference it will uh, give you a brief idea of what it is and how it works and if you see there are certain contrast errors contrast errors is nothing but if there is there is a low contrast here very low contrast uh, contrast between text and background colors so if you click on code it will show you the code so like this we have different uh, types of uh, you know warnings and errors contrast errors and certain features which are standing good all this details will be shown in this web accessibility evaluation tool which is wave okay so by this way you can also try out 
certain application and check whether uh, accessibility has been implemented or not okay if you have liked this video please do like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel also follow me on instagram at software testing hacks see you bye bye